Tip of the day, rear strangled using two hands. This is probably the most common that you see in MMA or any other type. And that is one hand, usually you just take the bicep. And actually it all depends upon how long your arms are. You take the bicep and you put the bicep right underneath the ear right here. Now here's where the blood goes up into the brain right here. You take the bicep there and then as the arm bends here, you want this part right here, top of the forearm, to go right across where the throat is. So when you're actually doing this, you already got them locked. Now there's two ways of doing it. One, when you place your hand here, you can take the hand and put it behind you like this, or you can put it behind his head. Personally, I had find it more effective to put the hand this way. So this way, when you start to apply the choke, all you're doing is expanding the chest and you're applying the technique. So you're really doing this. You're stopping the blood going up and you're stopping him from breathing. Thank you very much.